Hi everyone. Today we're going to look at scheduling backend workflows. And the problem we're going to be working on is related to this repeating group here. It's a list of jobs and you'll notice that it's sorted by date. You'll also notice that some jobs are highlighted in yellow and have a logo next to them, others do not. The difference is the ones in yellow are paying customers, the ones in white are not. So we want to give priority placement to the ones in yellow. And the way I've dealt with that historically is, if you go into the repeating group here, what you'll see is I'm sorting by this field a post date here. And what post date is, it's quite similar to create a date. Uh, if we look at this one here, you'll see the create a date by default is actually the same as post date. What I've been manually doing up until now is going into post date and for those jobs where the uh, company posting has paid from, I've been just updating them every seven days. This is obviously a bit of a pain and it's a bit manual to be manually uh, doing it every single week uh, for every single job. And I have been slacking, you'll see something falling down the pile. So we're going to automate that. And the way we're going to do it is we're going to use backend workflows. The first thing you're going to need to do to do this is go into your settings tab and ensure that this enable workflow API and backend workflows box is ticked. Once that is, what you'll notice is a new page pops up underneath the page dropdown. It's called backend workflows. And this is where we're going to start our work. We're going to click on new API workflow. We are going to call this job date reset. And we're going to pass through some parameters. We're going to give a key of job, jobs, and the type is going to be a job. Click on an action and data things make changes to a thing. The thing we're going to be changing is that key. It's going to be jobs. And the field we're going to be changing is post date. And we're going to be changing it uh, to the current date or time. Now, that might seem wrong. Why are we updating the post date to the current date or time? Do we not want to be making more recent? We do. So what we're going to do is we're going to build in a trigger uh, on another page. So if we go to job preview recruiter, this is essentially where recruiters uh, have a last chance to look at the job before it's posted. So what we're going to do is we are going to add in a trigger here. I'm going to go to insert action. And this will all become clear from the example in a minute. We're going to go to element actions. We're not we're going to go to custom events. We're going to go to schedule API workflow. And this is where we can select the API workflow that we've just created. And we're going to change the scheduled date to current date or time. And just for this example here, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to add in uh, 10 minutes. And we're going to go to jobs and we're going to go to current page jobs. So what's going to happen here is the API workflow we've created is going to update the job post date 10 minutes after it's initially posted. So I'm just going to take you through an example of how that's going to work in practice. The way this app currently works is each recruiter has a dashboard. I'm using dummy data here, but they've got to post a new job. They put in the various details and the job gets posted to the site. So we're just going to do that very quickly. We put in test and just put this in throughout this section here. If we continue to step two, you're brought to this preview screen and the job will then be posted. You can see here it's currently 10.57 and if we go to post job, that job will now be live in our database. So if we go into our data and we see what's here, what we should see is that a new job is going to come in and sure enough you can see that job created at 10.57 a.m. on the 11th of December and post date uh, again, slightly different formatting, but the 11th of December at 10.57 a.m. So what we're now going to do is we're going to wait 10 minutes until 11.07 a.m. And hopefully this will update to 11.07 a.m. Okay, we're back and about 10 minutes have now passed. You can see it's 11.07 a.m. And you should have just seen the post date has now updated. So creator date, 10.57, post date, 11.07, which means it worked as we wanted. We're going to make one final change. Uh, by going back into that workflow that we just changed. And there's no point really in having 10 minutes added to each post date. So I'm going to change that to days and I'm going to change this to a seven, which means that every week the job should get put back up to the top of the page. It's only going to apply to the recruiter jobs who have paid for placement, which is exactly what we want. Hope this is helpful. If you would like to see some more bubble tips, please do subscribe to the channel.